Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. For today's lesson, we are going to express y in terms of x. So imagine in your vertical axis, you have y over x. And you got in your horizontal axis, you've got x squared. So there are two points there. You got 1, 5 over 2. And you got another point which is 2 and 5. So the first thing first is to find the gradient. So we're going to find the gradient by using the formula. So n equals 2. If you subtract, so 5 minus 5 over 2, y2 minus 1 over x2 minus x1. So 2 minus 1. So you will have um, 10 minus 5, 5 over 2. So you get 5 over 2 here. So this is your gradient. Okay, now you find y to set. To find y to set is very easy. So this is your capital X, and this is your capital Y. This is also your capital X, and this is your uh, capital Y. So what we will do is, uh, we are going to substitute into our capital Y equals to M, capital X plus C. So you can choose any point you like. Let's say you want to choose um, this point. So if you substitute in, so you have 5 equals to the gradient, which is 5 over 2. And then times x, which is 2, and then plus c. So when you do this, you can find your c, which is c equals 2, 5 minus 5 will be 0. Or the other one, if you want to use uh, the other point, so 1, 5 over 2, you substitute in, so the capital X uh, is 1, capital Y, 5 over 2, so you substitute inside, you have 5 over 2 equals 2. The gradient is 5 over 2 as well. And then capital X will be 1, and then plus c. So again, our c will be 0, because when you bring this over, you get 0, because 5 over 2 minus 5 over 2 is 0. Okay, now we substitute in into our capital Y, capital X formula. So you have uh, capital Y equals to M, capital X plus C. So the capital Y will be your vertical axis, which is Y over X. And your gradient equals to 5 over 2. Your capital X will be from here, which is some horizontal axis, which is X squared. And then your C is 0, so you don't have to write your C. And then it says express Y in terms of X, so you just cross multiply. So the final answer will be, so y equals to 5 over 2, x power 3. So this is how we express y in terms of x, using the formula, just finding gradient and substitute the points. Okay, now look at the second example. Uh, in your vertical axis, you got log 10y. In horizontal axis, you have log 10x. So first thing, uh, we have to find the gradient. So find the gradient first, which is m. So the gradient will be 8 minus 3 over 4 minus 2. So you will get 5 over 2 here. So this is your gradient. I can now using, uh, you can label this as your capital X, capital Y, capital X, capital Y. So the more small X and small Y. So we're going to substitute into our formula. So capital Y equals to M, capital X plus C. But like I said before, you can choose any point you like. You will get the same C. So I'm going to choose uh, this point. So I'm going to substitute here. So this one is 8. So the M will be 5 over 2. And my capital X will be 4. And then plus C. So I'm going to simplify, so I get 2 here, bring over. So the C is already positive, stays here. So 8 minus 10 gives me negative 2. So my C is negative 2. Now I'm going to substitute back into my formula. So my capital Y will be log 10Y. So I'm going to substitute back, so uh, log 10Y equals 2. So the gradient M, which is 5 over 2, here, yeah, 5 over 2. Okay, my capital X will be from the horizontal axis, which is uh, log 10X. So this will be log 10X. And my C, Y to set will be negative 2, so I'm going to set to negative 2 here. So you're going to express Y in terms of X. Okay, this number have no log. What we will do is we're going to give him log. So we're going to give him log. So we have um, 5 over 2, log 10X minus. If you want to give log, you give log 10, 10. Because log 10, 10 will be equals to 1. So uh, in logarithm laws, you have to remember that uh, log 10, 10, the base and number is the same, so it gives you 1. So this one is the same thing. And if you got number here, you can always bring it up. So same thing here, you got number, you can bring it up. So I'm going to bring this up. So I'm going to have log 10x to the power of 5 over 2. So now the 5 over 2 becomes the power. Okay, minus log this 10. So 10 power 2. Okay, according to log logarithm log as well, when you have subtraction, you have to divide this two. So you're going to have log 10. So x power 5 over 2 divided by. Because 10 squared gives equals to 100. So I'm going to write 100 here. So here, I'm going to copy again my above expression, which is uh, log 10y. So now we got log 10 here and log 10 here. We sort of cancel the log 10, log 10. So the final answer will be y in terms of x will be y equals to x power 5 over 2 over 100. So this is the final answer. So I'm going to give you um, examples, uh, sorry, exercise after this. I want you to exercise. So I shall see you next week.